fourth time trying to record this. Right, we're gonna try something a bit different today. I usually do sort of day in the life, showing you what I do for a living, that sort of thing. If you've seen them, you've seen them. If you haven't, congratulations. Trust me, you're not missing out on much. But you might wanna stick around for this one because this one's slightly different and maybe adds more value than what a usual video does. So, I wanna start doing accountability videos uh, on this on this channel uh, every Monday I'm going to come on and I'm going to go through my weekly goals of what I want to achieve in that week um, and then obviously the following Monday I'll go through if I achieve them what they were if I achieve them and then what the following week or the next week's goals are going to be and so on um, hopefully this will add value to you guys um, sticking to your weekly goals is obviously a tricky thing because if it wasn't we'd all be amazing billionaires with six packs but um so yeah, hopefully this helps us all keep a little bit accountable. Uh, this is selfishly mainly for me, so I can look back and track it, but hopefully it does add value to you guys. Um, what I think would be really cool is if you guys did it along with me, maybe leave a comment with what your weekly goals are. Um, if you don't want to do that, maybe just get a little notepad and write them in there. But yeah, I think it is important to try and track your progress as much as you can. Um, and, and stay on top of things because things can spiral out of control quite easily so what i've done is i've got um 2023 goals and uh weekly goals i've made a couple of lists that i'll go through in a minute i know the year, the yearly goals 2023 goals are probably a couple months late um but i'm still going to go through them for myself in the next year i can look back and see how how close i am to them goals and and so on so i'm going to go through now these two notes 2023 goals and goals for the next week um and yeah let's just see how this goes i'm going to try and stick to this every week obviously keep myself accountable excuse me keep myself accountable and hopefully it helps you guys do the same so i've obviously started this youtube channel and um i'm sure everybody watching this knows you can get paid for making youtube videos obviously but you don't get paid straight off the bat. You get paid when you hit certain criteria. You can go and look those up. One of them is a thousand subscribers and I believe you got to have a certain amount of watch time. I believe it's 4,000 hours, which time you get to a thousand subscribers, you've probably got that anyway. So one of my goals by for yearly goals, but by October, which is my birthday, I want to get paid by YouTube. So this means I need a thousand subscribers and I need 4,000 watch hours, whatever it is. But I don't I don't have a goal as to how much. Um, I just want get to a, get a paycheck from YouTube. Just selfishly, I think that would be really cool. Um, yeah, I don't care if it's for 50p or £50. I just I think that is a cool goal to aim for. Um, and yeah, hopefully I can stick to that. So it's in writing now on this video. Um, so yeah, hopefully we hit that by October. If not, it's not the end of the world as long as we're making strides to get there. Um, maybe we hit it sooner, who knows? Maybe this video blows up and I'm a millionaire. Uh, next up, I, I've just started a business in the last sort of four, four to six months, uh, reselling pre-loved clothing. I've got a vintage store, which is, I'm in the changing room of that. Brilliant little studio. Um, but yeah, vintage clothing shop. And I also do a lot on eBay. If you've seen the channel, you know um, that I do eBay. Uh, so yeah, I quit my job probably about eight months ago now, and I was on about 24 grand a year with the overtime, with all the other um, bits on the side. I want to get this business to pay me that amount a year, this year, sort of thing. So I want to match it. I'm not, um, I think this is quite a realistic goal. I'm a, a ways off that now, I'll be honest. Um, but yeah, I want to get to the point where I'm on 20, the same as I was at my nine to five job. I've just dropped my notes, but I think that's a really good goal. It's a realistic goal. I'm not saying I want to be a hundred grand richer next year. I'm just saying I want to reach my, my, uh, my goal of 24, which is 24 grand a year by next year, which is what I was paid before. But instead of being paid by a company, I want to work for myself and be paid by myself so I don't have a boss because being your own boss is the way to go because fuck a nine to five. Um, yeah, so it's about two grand a month basically is what I need to earn. 
the shop probably brings that in in revenue, but that isn't profit. Um, and the eBay, I've only just started scaling that again. Did do it before the shop. That's what gave me the, the idea for the shop. But, um, but yeah, I do need a little bit of work towards that. But it's entirely possible. I know I can do it. I know I can surpass that in the future. But for this year, I want to keep things realistic and I want to not get sidetracked on trying to make a billion pounds. I just want to get to the point where I can um, I can say I'm, I'm self-employed. I'm a successful person in the self-employed space, um, which which is really cool. If I can pay myself what I was paid at, it, at the place was Travis Perkins, which is a builder's merchant. Um, if I can get the same same pay from myself as I was from them, I think that's a, that's an amazing achievement for a 21 year old, for anyone really, but especially for myself. Um, not especially, that sounds, sounds a bit arrogant. Not that I'm, you know, anyway. Yeah, two grand a month in profit, not revenue, profit. Um, by the end of this year, definitely doable. Hoping to get there a lot sooner than that because I want to be paid, man. Um, but yeah, I've got several revenue streams. Obviously, um, the shop that I mentioned and eBay. Uh, I've got a couple of other bits and bobs on, like uh, Vinted, which is eBay, basically. Um, but yeah, and YouTube. YouTube is now technically a revenue stream. Well, it's actually not, but if I start getting paid, then it will be which loops back into goal number one. But anyway, I'm going to shut up. Uh, goal number three is I am currently 102, 103 kilos, 220 pounds. Yeah, proper fat bastard size. Uh, I want to get to 90 kilo by my birthday, which is October 29th. What are you going to get me? That is a real question. You know, I'm going to be 22. You're going to have to buy me something. So you might as well send it early, if anything. And then I'll forget. So you have to send someone else again. So you might as well just get me a couple of things for my birthday. Um, maybe an Xbox would be quite nice. Uh, yeah, something like that wouldn't go amiss. Uh, honestly, if you want to get me something like that, it'd be really cool. But yeah, <laughs> fucking hell. Right, yeah, 90 kilos. I want to be 90 kilos, which is two stone lighter than I am now. But I want to, don't want to just lose it. Um, I want to lose that in body fat, not muscle, obviously. Not that I have a lot of muscle, actually. I beg the differ. I have a little bit, but um, but yeah, I want to get to ninety kilo by my birthday, which is about two stone lighter than I am now, which is obviously doable. Uh, really, like really realistic. Like I should get there if I can just stay consistent, which is why I'm making this video, trying to keep myself um accountable for my actions. Uh, and then last but not least is TikTok. I want to get to ten thousand followers. I'm currently on about eleven hundred, I think. Um. But 10,000 followers by my birthday again. I don't know why I did buy my birthday for all of these, but um, but yeah, I guess I guess it makes sense to uh, push it forward a little bit more, make yourself push a little bit harder. But that anyway, TikTok 10,000 followers entirely doable. Uh, like I say, I'm on 1,100 now, but it does uh, only take a couple viral videos, and I'll be there probably. But um, the, yeah, it's just learning how to make those TikToks go viral. Um, if you do want to follow me on TikTok, I'll try and leave the description uh, link in the description of this video. Get me closer. Um, but yeah, that is all I've got written down for the yearly yearly goals. Um, but yeah, hopefully, hopefully I can achieve those. If not, you know, how did I do? This is ask asking my future self. How did I get on? Did I get there? Did I not? I'm sure hoping I did for at least the money ones and the subscriber and the follower ones. And obviously the weight loss one. It's uh, they're all achievable. I've tried to keep things achievable. I don't want to go. I want to be on hundred grand a year. I do within the next few years, but um, but yeah, to say that in a year it just puts a lot of pressure on yourself. Obviously, I'm going to strive to earn more than twenty four grand a year, but um, but if I can hit that this year, I'll be really happy with that, and I think that's a really good goal to try and hit um, in the next twelve months. Anyway, obviously when you've got big goals you need smaller goals to help you get there um which is where the weekly goals come in so instead of going how do i earn 24 grand a year i'm going to go how do i earn x amount to get myself to 24 grand a year week by week so i don't stress myself out thinking about the bigger picture all the time try and make break it down into macro macro 
um, no micro goals to get to your macro goals. Um, but yeah, weekly goals for this week is every day I got to wake up at 5 p.m. a.m. Sorry, 5 p.m. Bloody hell, that'd be alright, wouldn't it? Um, 5 a.m. I did it this morning. Woke up 5 a.m. I am a bit of a early morning riser. Uh, never used to be, but uh, needs must and all of that. Uh, next one is to do with the eBay. This is just a uh, a stepping stone to get my money basically to try and get that revenue up try and keep myself accountable it is 20 ebay listings a day now that is easy enough uh, i should be able to do that um it should only take a few hours a day but sometimes you know it's like you get sidetracked you get distracted you got other stuff going on but yeah hopefully i can stick to that every day get my 20 listings up and keep that money churning over um but yeah, that's just a little side. No, it wasn't. That is that is for that is a quite important to me to try and get that done every day. Uh, next up is three YouTube videos a week. Um, that is full videos. That isn't shorts. That's full videos, uh, like this one. So that this is going to help add to that, which is really cool. Uh, next up is two TikTok uh, videos daily. We're coming back to that next goal. Uh, the 10,000 followers on TikTok. Well, the way I'm going to try and get there is two videos a day on there, maybe like two, and try and learn the algorithms. TikTok's weird. You've got to try and learn the algorithms and and all the little hooks, you know, three seconds to get them interested, that sort of stuff. So, um, so yeah, it's all all going to be, got to be learned, and hopefully I can learn that by doing two videos a day, trying to prove something every video, um, and just add value. I mean, that's hopefully what this video is doing now is adding enough value to make you guys think oh maybe i'll subscribe if you don't don't worry you're not going to miss out on much but i would appreciate it if you did um next up is coming back to that 90 kilo goal the weight loss goal uh is five gym sessions a week now i've been doing this for as long as it, uh as long as i can remember no that's not true but I have been doing it for a little while now. Five gym sessions a week works quite well for me. I haven't yet been today. I'm going to wait until a little bit later on just because I can. I usually go in the mornings, but I've been feeling quite good. When I go in the morning, sometimes I feel a bit slow, a bit sluggish because I'm still half asleep. So now I can wait until a little bit later on in the day. I'm going to start doing that and see how I get on with that. But yeah, five gym sessions a week is very doable for me. Uh, I've done it for weeks and weeks now. But, um, but yeah, I guess another a little side goal in that is just be more intense in those sessions. Sometimes I can get distracted. Um, what I've started doing is obviously got my music on, but I'll put my phone in my bag um, and I've carried my bag around the gym. So I'm not. So when my phone's out, I'm like, oh, let's just let's just look how let's just look at my messages. Let's just go on Facebook. Let's just. So if I keep it in my bag, it's another layer of. Um, I've got to open my bag and think to myself, why am I opening my bag to get my phone? Just get on with the session. So hopefully that's another way I can um, get more intense in my in my sessions and get more out of them. Um, but yeah, that's just a little side goal. That's not really a goal. That's just something I'm doing as a, a prompt to try and make those sessions a bit more efficient. Um, next up is still on the weight loss um, goal category is intermittent fasting. Um, I'm going from eight eight o'clock at night till two o'clock in the afternoon uh, every day. There is a lot of benefits to this, but the main one I'm looking for is it gives me less time to eat like a fat shit. Because <laughs> if you only give yourself six hours a day to eat, you get you can only eat so much. Even if you tried, you know there's only so much you can actually eat. Now, if that is that challenge accepted, because uh, I'm pretty sure I could still gain weight doing this, but if you're not being an idiot about it, it's a great way to lose weight. There is other benefits. Um, I'm not, I'm not too clued up on that. I used to be. I used to be big into my diet and all the rest of it. But yeah, I'm not too clued up on the actual benefits of that. But I know there is, there is loads out there for intermittent fasting. But the main one that I'm looking for is that I can only eat for six hours a day. So that way, I can't eat as much. Um, Last but not least, I am notoriously fucking messy. Uh, if you look around the shop, out the back in the stock room, all the rest of it, it's a shithole. So I've added on here 20 minutes daily shop cleanup. 
Now that is something I've got to stick to every day that I'm in the shop. Um, and just do 20 minutes to tidy in. It's, it's simple as that, it's nothing special, but I feel like that's gonna add a lot of value to the workspace. Um, you know, work clean, it's, it's not only is it is it look better, it's a lot safer. I mean, it's sometimes it can be quite dangerous at trip hazards, um, that sort of thing. I know all that sort of thing's boring, but um, it does it does add up. Um, and it, it can can slow you down in many ways when, when you come to step over things and all the rest of it. So that is all I can think about for the weekly goals. I'm sure I'll add stuff as the week goes on, but I'm gonna keep hold of that bit of paper um, and tell you guys next week how I get on. Um, don't just walk away from this video with um, no incentive or no sort of want to actually uh, st stick to your own goals. Try and, try and stick to your own goals. Write them down. If you write them down, you're more likely to actually achieve them. That's been proven. There's something like 50% more chance of achieving a goal once it's been written down on paper. So, so make sure you're doing that. Yeah, it does help. And another thing that's really good is if you go through every morning and you read them, you know, it just makes that chance a little bit higher. Um, so yeah, hopefully, hopefully you guys get something from this video. I can see this video is about 16 and a half minutes long, so hopefully I can get them shorter. I blabber on. Um, but yeah, I hope you hopefully you got something from this video. If you did, hit the like button. Make sure to comment your goals. If not, write them down in a journal. Uh, and yeah, see you guys next week with another one of these Monday motiv is it Monday motivational. Oh, I can think of the title. Monday. I don't know. You'll see the title. It'll be below this video. But um, yeah, hopefully you got something from it. And I'll see you guys in a week with. Some more goals. Just smash it, come on! <laughs>